Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Midnight Suns. DLC number 4 came out today, which is the Storm DLC. I am super excited for this one. Storm is one of my all-time favorite X-Men characters, so I am super excited to get to play as her in this game. It has been a while. The last DLC released, like, almost two months ago, so it was a little weird because they were releasing, like, almost exactly one month from each other, but then all of a sudden it was, like, no news until now, so it was kind of weird. So it has been a while, so I don't know how good I'll be at the game because I haven't been playing it much in my off time due to other series and whatnot. But I am really excited to be back to this game. I absolutely adore this game. I have a ton of fun with it. The story is great. The gameplay is fantastic. I cannot recommend it enough. So yeah, we are going to be starting Storm's DLC story today. And what's cool is I didn't know this, but it said in the description of the DLC that if you own and play through the story of all four DLCs, you actually unlock a whole special little ending story battle thing, apparently, or something like that. I try not to read too much into it, it just, this was a basic PlayStation Store description. So it means that because we have played, well, we will be playing, because as we play through this, we'll have played all four DLCs, we'll get some sort of secret special ending thing, so I'm super excited for that as well. And I hope you guys are too. But yeah, remember to like the video if you like, subscribe if you want to see more, but without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, so I did spend a little bit of time kind of looking at my menus just to kind of get a feel for things again. So we have, like, the only things that are still being worked on. Did I buy this? Yeah, I already bought that stuff. Okay. I think I did most of the stuff around the Abbey in the last episode, like, before we ended it off. The main things that we need to focus on are Morbius and Venom still need friendship up. And then we got whatever Storm needs. So we'll probably be able to get Venom's friendship because he's at, like, level 3, almost level 4. So he shouldn't take too long to lead up. The one I'm most concerned about, I'm thinking, is going to be Storm. I don't know how, if we're going to be able to get her friendship done. Morbius is only at, like, level two and a half, so he could take a while, too. But let's go ahead and just go straight to the Storm mission, I think. Or do we have any do we have any of these? Because this allows us to get, uh... No, we don't have any until cash description. That could sometimes get us compliments, which would help a lot, too. We don't have any on us, right? Uh, resources. No, we have no compliments on us right now, so... Because that would help, too. She thinks it's good to okay. Go. I'm set to publish later this week. Okie dokie. Ah, there it is. That's a cool sim. I was like, where's the storm mission? There we go. Hard knock life. Awesome. I am so ready for this. Ooh, and we're gonna have... Oh, no hunter involved. It's just storm, magic, and wolverine. That's interesting. Okay. Or maybe we're going to have the Hunter be in it anyways, but Storm's going to like join us. But no, because there's only ever three playable characters, so I don't know. It's just weird because the challenge shows the Hunter symbol, meaning like Hunter needs to maintain at least 50% health, so I don't know what's up with that. But anyways, let's just get right into it because I'm kind of rambling. Okay, yep, that's all the stuff I like itemize. Oh, she is so cool looking, dude. I love Storm so much. I did this on, I think, the... the Morbius DLC where I looked at the character like the outfits and all that stuff in this menu but I'll wait until she joins us to look at all of her stuff so that way there's a little more you know anticipation but, oh man they did amazing with her design she looks freaking amazing oh, I love Storm so much okay yeah, I was a big fan of growing up of the X-Men 90s cartoon and the uh, X-Men Evolution cartoon those were like two of my favorite uh cartoon things. I also really like the 90s Spider-Man show. That one was so good. But anyways, one of my favorite characters was always Storm. I absolutely love her. So again, this DLC is like, I'm so excited for it. I know a lot of people are too, like all over uh, social media and stuff, people have been like, oh my gosh, they can't wait for her to come out. She's like their all-time favorite character. This is just like, so she's very popular. So it was smart of them to include her. But anyways, let's get right into it. Because again, I'm rambling. <laughs> Hello? Hey kid, a mutual friend needs our help. Logan? But how did you get- I have my ways. Look, you want to help or not? <sighs> Depends on the friend. Aurora Monroe. Oh, of course. I'm free now. Good. You know where to find us. <laughs> where the trouble is. <laughs> I love that. She's like, great, who are we going to have to help in whatever he says her name? And she's just like, oh, yeah, of course I'll help her. <laughs> Eliana, thank you for coming. Aurora, you can always count on me. A friendship for all seasons is a powerful thing. Thank the goddess for that. We miss you at the school. You are always welcome home. I found my home with the Midnight Suns. But that does not mean I leave friends behind. What is the problem? A year ago, 
The professor detected a mutant living here with dormant abilities. I met with her, a fierce young woman named Dahlia, and invited her to attend Xavier's school. She declined. The orphanage was all she knew. I came here today to see if she had changed her mind, but according to the orphanage, she disappeared three months ago. Let me guess. As soon as her powers manifested. It's my fault. I didn't want to push her. To take her away from the only place she felt safe. I thought she could hide in plain sight a bit longer. I was wrong. You did what you thought was right. As you always do. Dahlia would never harm another person. And now she slipped through the cracks. Another ghost in the wind. This city is not kind to its ghosts. Especially not when it's infested with vampires. That's why we're gonna find her before they do. They already found us. Protect the children, at any cost. I wonder who the voice actresses they got for Storm, because it's spot on, dude. Like, really? Oh, so good. Okay, Himala Stark Incubation decreases when any card is played. Yeah, so basically, we, we already know how this goes. So how does Storm function? Oh, tutorial. Building the food truck upgrade has unlocked discard. Why is this popping up? We already used discard. I'm almost wondering, because I heard a lot of the DLCs has bugs. I wonder if they fixed some of the bugs. Many of Storm's abilities will grow stronger if they are not used until one turn after they are drawn. Look for the next turn keyword on Storm abilities to see what bonuses will be played. Okay, so she's all about holding on to cards for another turn. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, we already know this. Yeah, why is it giving us all these tutorials again? Yeah, uh, this is... I appreciate the, like, heads up, and I do remember most of this. Okay, so this one doesn't have... Do any... Okay, this one has the next turn. So if we wait a turn on this card... Why is the music so loud, dude? There we go. Um, anyways. Sorry, on my end, it was, like, really loud. So if we wait a turn, it'll add quick to the card. Okay. If we wait on this one, it'll increase the heroism cost, but almost double the damage. Destroy a conduit to apply stun to all nearby enemies. I'll redraw game one it's a, is it conduit? Oh, those are conduits. So we can destroy one of those to stun nearby enemies. Okay, that's cool. She's got a few of those. Well, okay, well, let's... So if we were to use, like, this on this, how big is the area? Oh, that's a pretty big area, actually. Okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Oh, this is an area knockback? Oh, storm. Nice. Let's go, let's try this. Face your end. Nice. So it looks like she's got some pretty good area abilities too. Say, it gets the job done. Overload that, but is that really necessary at this point? I think we'll try it real quick. Are you prepared? Just playing around a bit to kind of get used to her powers and to get used to the combat again. Yeah, I don't think stunning does anything to the... Yeah, it doesn't do anything to that thing. Hey, magic. If you were to drop this... You could actually use it to do pretty good damage to these two things. So let's try that. Okay, Wolvie Boy. Oh, so close to taking that one out. Okay, let's jump and attack. I can do that, which is quick, so we shouldn't use it up. There we go. This is the only one left, and it's got me a little worried. Uh, actually, Storm, can you... 
could shove that guy into that. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna shove you into that. And then we'll discard this. Ooh, we should probably actually... You know what? I think we should redraw that. Gain strengthened. And I think we should use crushing blow to... Oh, it won't kill it though! Nay! If I could wait one turn, it would. But she only has the strength in for one turn, right? Yeah. Berg. Um, let's... Let's redraw this. Great. Not was it? I was one team. Because I can't move this thing, which is what I really want to move. Pretty much if I was to move any of these guys, they'd pretty much die. But that's not what I want to do. Okay, um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to discard Trapdoor to get a move back. And then I'm going to have... Storm move over to here. And then I'm gonna have her do this and jump onto that the thing. Mainly just because I don't want this stupid thing spawning more of these bad guys. And then what I might do is. Nanotech Weave. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game, so I might be a little rusty. And I think I might be able to use this to... Yeah, I can use this to finish this off. So we won't get the next uh, turn bonus on this, but that's fine. Oh, that was cool again. And we'll call that our turn. Great, he applied bleed to some of our cards. I hate these stupid vampire guys. I mean, we haven't had to deal with them too much, because I'm generally pretty good at dealing with them, but, you know, still annoying. Yeah, 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 we know that. That's weird that all the tutorials are happening again. Dahlia was on her own here, alone with her burgeoning abilities. There was only so much you could do. Yeah, Think how many mutants have faced the same difficulties. Oh, Storm's abilities are so cool looking. To face such undeserved trials. It falls to us to ensure that doesn't happen. Not here. Not any. I probably should have been actually saving these because we're probably gonna have a whole other round. Oh well. I'm having a little fun with it, you know. You are like an ant to me. I'll step on you if I have to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever gets the job done. Here we go. At least we got here in time to protect the children. Why bother protecting society's dregs? Hmm? It is beneath your stature. Beneath me, all I see is you. The new breed vampires are an evolution, just as mutants were before them. But vampires continue to grow. <laughs> mutants remain tethered to humanity. A broken branch on the evolutionary tree. These cast-offs are not your family. They are fuel. There is a food chain, and it is time we ate up. I knew there was going to be a round two defeat. Okay, defeat Sin. Sin will turn allies into Hemalisks. Attack Sin will taunt multiple. Wow, words taunt multiple random enemies. Just as mutants push humanity ever closer to the ash heap, okay. so too will this new breed. It is the natural order of this world. There Let's... is nothing natural about what you've done. 
Any mutant seeking to dominate humanity does not speak for us. Ah, that is your I'm just kind of letting them talk it out. <laughs> there we go. Right in the face. Oh, that looks... Oh, the animations of this are so good. Again, I love this game. I'm so glad to be back playing it. Okay, they're all targeting magic. That's fine. It's weird that there's so many more... Uh, uh, tutorials all of a sudden. It's just kind of like, okay, there wasn't that many before. Chain 3 or Chain 2, and if I combo on the single person, it does more damage. I mean, I gain a strength thing, yeah. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll do this, and we'll double chain on you. Oh, wait, what does full combo mean? I am reading that right, right? Okay, am I reading this correctly? Gains additional effects when all attacks in the chain target a single. Yeah, that's what I thought. They have to hit one enemy. Yeah, so we'll just hit Sin with it. There we go. So then we gain strengthened. Yeah, yeah, now everyone. Yeah, targets him. We know, we know, we know the drill. Okay. And then we're going to chain. I might just hit her three times with the strength of because I'm not too worried about the other guys, honestly. Yeah, let's hit her three times. There we go. Try to get her health as low as possible. Girl, you're already targeting me. That ain't gonna do much. Okay, I'm out of card plays. But I can do a limbo portal for a Fauri. And I think what we're gonna do is... You know what? I think I want... I'm gonna do that. I have an idea. Trust me on this. <laughs> or maybe don't trust me. I might not know what I'm doing. <laughs> Here we go. I have a reason to get her over here. I just hope it works the way I think it will. A change of mind. Here we go. I am ready. Drop it on her head. Boom. <laughs> it's just so satisfying. Ugh. Oh, have I missed this game? Okay, and then I think what we're gonna do is storm. Yes, perfect storm gets to finish her off. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to take her down twice. Okay. I forgot she was a boss. There you go, and yeah, there's these three guys left, but they're all gonna attack magic, but magic should be able to hold her own, I'm hoping. And maybe to help her out, we'll just... I call to the oh, that's cool. I was wondering how Storm, I was like, is Storm gonna, like, use wind to pick it up? No, that's cool, though. She uses, like, a electro field kind of thing. Okay. So, we'll call that our turn. We will not fail. Really? Because you're kind of already failing. Ooh, okay, you actually hit really hard. 121 damage. Blood Sight, because she's bleeding great. Ooh, that also hurt. You okay over there, girl? Yeah, she's good. <laughs> she's tough. Okay, she's recovered. So what do we got going on? If you were truly evolved, you would see how your actions against those who cannot defend themselves are misguided. Does humanity shed a tear for their countless meals? Do they care about their meat? <laughs> One does not justify the other. Your mind is twisted. <laughs> or maybe Ooh, this is tough. I do I go that route? Or do I go for ever. hitting sin? I might go for hitting sin. Oh, but if on KO I gain a counter, then I think counter would be very beneficial right here. So let's instead maybe do... Oh, that's gonna do, like, no damage. Okay, let's do this to try to get another card out of it, maybe. Or no, would it be better to do... No, because that's not gonna kill, dang it. I'm not in the best positioning for this damage-wise, but... Oh, well, well, we'll do... we'll do this. Oh, crap, I think I hit too far. Oh, no, good, I did still hit him. Okay, Ooh. My thumb slipped at the last second, I was like, wait! Okay, I want her to have... yep. Perfect. Uh, 
that. Now it's much. Go. I was hoping you would have got some it's bleed or something. Doesn't his passive make it to where you can make bleed, or am I thinking of the wrong thing? I might be thinking of the wrong thing. Still want a piece. Okay, let's get rid of one of these. Ooh, his special. Consume all heroism to damage random enemies two times, one for each heroism. Damage increases by 29 with each attack, plus one heroism for each KO. You know what? We might actually try it. We only had the heroism thing, right? Okay, so if I was to use this... Uh, I'm torn. I'm tempted to draw cards. Yeah, you know, let's draw cards. Because if I can get some free cards, I give heroes. I'm also on KOs and stuff. Let's see. You gotta do it yourself. Oh, sex, that one's not free. Any of these free. That also gives... Most grass created portal, plus one things this turn for the rest of the mission. See, I wish I had that earlier. Okay, um... Did Limbo's Grasp always make a portal before? I thought before it was just a bonus thing. I don't remember it making a portal before. Hmm. But anyways, that's not gonna benefit us right now. Erg. Okay. So we're gonna use this and hopefully it does pretty good. Yeah, go for it, Wolverine! I thought it said two hits on each enemy. Did I read that card wrong? I could have swore it said two hits on each enemy. Or did it mean it was only going to do hit two enemies? Then I might have used that wrong. I think I read it wrong. I'm a little annoyed by that, actually. Great. Well, they're all attacking Wolverine, and I would rather... I want them to attack him. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use magic and just kind of do this just to get rid of this guy. Be happy you can still draw breath. And then, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Ooh, yeah, cause she's, she's bleeding. I forgot she, I should've healed her. Wow, she has no problem hitting her own guys, apparently. I probably should've let them attack, though, magic, because of the fact that she has counter. I didn't think about that. Wolverine's probably gonna die. Dang it. Cause now he's bleeding. Dang it, yeah, he's probably gonna die. Oh, please don't get injured. As she commands. He's injured. Yep, because he got KO'd. That sucks. We have to aid them if we can. I probably made some stupid You're calls here. Like I said, it has been a while. The world. My kind have little to fear from you. We are the future. They're not scared yet. Okay. They better get started. I want to. You're the one I am most afraid of, so I think I want to make a portal here, going to hit you. Yeah, I don't think Limbo's Grasp used to make portals for some reason. There we go. Get over there. Smack down. Yeah, I'm targeted, but what to do? This will almost take her down. Let's go for it. Go storm. Oh yeah. I really wish it hit more than one enemy. Though. I would. Oh, but I bet we could upgrade it to hit one. I keep forgetting these are all her base level moves. We haven't upgraded her anything. Where's a good way to knock these guys back? Okay, if I was to do it there, that does pretty good there. Ooh, there's the best way to do it. Perfect. Go for it, Storm. Perfect. 
very effective. Do I have to take down everyone else, or are we good? I'm hoping we're good. We prevail. Nope, we're good. Awesome. Sorry, Wolverine never revived you. <laughs> a quarter of my power. I'm glad the training stayed with you. The danger room left an impression, as you did with Sin. She won't be back. It's why she was here in the first place that concerns me. Agreed. This is bigger than us. If we're going to take on Sin and find Dahlia, we need reinforcements. Most of the X-Men are off-planet dealing with the Shi'ar brood war. Don't worry. The Midnight Suns will help. Awesome. Yay. Ah, I love Storm. I can definitely see the benefit to her abilities. I can't wait to see what other abilities she has too, because these are already like really strong. And I wonder what the upgrades for will be too. Storm, is it? Indeed. You must be the hunter. Magic told me about you. Why does that make me nervous? <laughs> Nothing but good things, I promise. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. I must say, this place is unlike anything I've seen before. There is an air of mystery and wonder, but it feels welcoming and safe all at the same time. How curious. The Abbey is special. It even holds secrets that I have not uncovered. Sounds unique indeed. I can already see the similarities between here and Xavier's school. Speaking of, what do you think is the most interesting part of the Abbey? Hmm. I'd probably say the Midnight Suns are quite interesting themselves. Those who reside here make each day interesting and fresh. Yes, the people are the lifeblood of a community. I can say the same for Xavier's school as well. The students are all colorful characters. There's never a dull moment in these halls. <laughs> if there was ever silence, I would grow worried. Apologies, I have been dominating the conversation. Have you any questions for me? Yes, a few, actually. Yes, I have a few. By all means, ask away. Okay, let's start with where are you from? Can you tell me about your background? I won't go into too much detail, but I was left orphaned as a child. I learned how to fend for myself and became a skilled pickpocket. You stole from others? To survive, and it worked. I scraped by. After a few years, my mutant abilities presented themselves, and I was approached by Xavier to join the X-Men. The rest is history. I feel like you were leaving some parts out. <laughs> Perhaps. My past is just that. It is behind me, and I prefer to focus on what is ahead. So, what are your powers? I saw bright lights coming from your hands. What was that? It's a little complicated, but I have the power to control the weather and atmosphere. What you saw back there was electricity. Wow, that is amazing. Now I understand the meaning behind your name. Thunder and lightning don't roll off the tongue as easily. You said your powers are complicated. May I ask how? Maybe I'll go into full detail another time. But let's just say I can't mess with Mother Nature too much. I see. Like checks and balances? Exactly. 
Oh, I never knew about that. Okay, now I'm very intrigued. Okay, I didn't know that she couldn't, like, because I always thought that, wow, she must be crazy overpowered because she could pretty much just manipulate weather anyway she wants. I didn't know that there was, like, a drawback or a... Which there has to be because otherwise it would be, you know, having no drawback to it make it basically way too OP in a, in a writing sense. That's interesting. I wonder what it is. That's actually something I didn't know about her. Again, for me loving the character so much, I did not know that. Oh. Um, is her real name Storm? I know her name's not Storm, but let's see what she has to say. What is your given name? Aurora Monroe. What about yours? The Hunter. Short and sweet. I like it. Does your name hold any significance like mine does? I was told it meant beauty. A little embarrassing, but I understand the intent. I love Storm. Her personality is wonderful. Okay, we're all Change done here then. Mind. The offer still stands. Awesome. Storm new here available. Wow, she just joined us right away. Oh, we have a hangout too. Awesome. There she is, Storm. So did we get to see all of her abilities? I think we did. Yeah, I feel like she didn't start with as much of a um, variety. She only has like four different moves she started with. I feel like the other kid, maybe they only did start with four. And how is her everyday outfit? So we don't have any other ones. Um, I'll go ahead and let her change outfits daily, even though she only has the one. Okay, her swimsuit, a little plain, but works. Okay, combat outfits. I don't have her Midnight Sun outfit, but we can do Pug Storm. Oh, that's cool. It's, oh, oh my gosh, I love this outfit. This is the one from the 90s cartoon. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like her default outfit. It's really cool, modernized, sleek. And I like Punk Storm, it's really cool. I like, uh, cause that's the one that they also had in the, what movie was it? I think it was the Age of Apocalypse movie had her in this outfit too. It was really good. It, but the silver suit, I gotta go with the silver suit. Classic Storm. Oh man, that looks cool too. That's like her one from the, the X-Men movies. This one's like the one from the uh, the old cartoon. This one's the one I think from the X-Men movie, like uh, the old, oh crap, was it like 2005, 2002? Something like that, it was a long time ago. Um, I don't, this one's kind of got like the classic X-Men colors. But this one, again, I think this is like her movie outfit, but I love the all white. I just love this suit, so cool. Ugh. But anyways, guys, there's Storm. I am so excited to start leveling up our friendship with her and working with her, and oh, I'm so excited. But we're going to save all of that stuff for the next episode. I wonder who we got hangout events with. Oh, we're outside. Um, Inside. Thank you. Wanda, Captain Marvel, Captain America, and Nika. Great. I was really hoping for one of the DLC characters. I don't really have a need to hang out with any of you guys. I'll hang out with one of them just because, we, you know, doesn't hurt to. But great. And then Magic needs to talk to us and Storm. Storm still needs to talk to us, but that just might be because we can still, like, ask our questions and stuff. But anyways, we're gonna deal with all of that in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!